guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys if you would like Oc well, Croctober because it's October, and a lot of you guys said yes, Lisa, bring back the Croctober. So we have a Mr. Pookie here because he's the cook. So we're gonna share with you this month really easy, inexpensive meals that you can make in your slow cooker that I think your family is really going to love. Today we have some pork loin and potatoes, and then we'll have some green beans. Nice, you know, round, healthy meal, good meal. It's decent, yeah, yeah it's not, yeah. Not, not the worst thing for you. So, what are we gonna do? Well, first thing I did is we got it, we, so to keep it cheap, we bought a, a, a pork loin that had a lot of fat on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you get them like that, they're usually a little cheaper and they're not, not so expensive, you know, so I trimmed all the fat off. I trimmed a lot of fat off. I left some, we want some, but it had too much. So we cut a lot of the fat off. Um, so first thing we'll do after that is we're going to, um, I'll probably rub a little bit of Worcestershire in it, and then I'm going to put this rub on, which is a sweet rub. Um, it's got sugar, garlic, paprika, chili peppers, caramel coloring, you know, celery seed, and just lots of, lots of fun stuff. This? Um, I think we got this at Lowe's in the barbecue aisle. Yeah, so they might still have this stuff. Just any type of sweet rub that you really, mm -hmm. that you have would be right. fine. This is the one that we did grab from Lowe's. Lowe's has really good rubs. Mm -hmm. And I think they have it all year round, more towards summer. Like right now you can probably get a probably. bunch of them on sale. You'll yeah. be yellow tagged. A lot of that barbecue stuff. So any good. type of sweet rub is gonna work mm -hmm. well. So. Yeah, so we'll start, put just, not a, not a lot, just a little bit of Worcestershire. Shake your Worcestershire, because it, it's got, it's unfiltered if you get good stuff. And then once we've, once we've rubbed this and everything, we're going to put it in the crock pot, or we're gonna wrap, we're, we're gonna wrap it in bacon. Gonna, we're gonna wrap it in bacon. It's gonna be so yummy, mm -hmm. right? And I will probably put a little seasoning on the bacon. I'm not gonna put Worcestershire, we don't want a lot of this, but enough to kind of like flavor the juices coming out. And then, and then we'll put the potatoes in there with it and we probably want to cook on low um, no probably high it would just depend so for I, would us, say, I would say medium and i think our medium goes for like six six hours, hours. six hours yeah or you can do high or high like if, four if you're like five hours, we don't have a lot depending. of time put it on high if you're starting it at lunch we're starting yeah. this at like 10. yeah so, so it should be fine by the time dinner yeah so. all right so we're gonna rub it all in yeah. just a little bit you're gonna do all sides i don't want to get my ring all messy Thank you. So yeah, just kind of, not a lot, just kind of shake it out on there a little bit. And, you know, just kind of rub it in, not a lot, but you know, it helps the seasoning stick too. Yeah. So, pull it over. Oops, could you put some of that on there for mm -hmm. me now that I'm all messy? A little more, better, perfect. Kind of rub it in. As you can tell, I use Worcestershire on everything. Yeah, it's you, the best thing. It ever. tastes really, really good. All right, now shake some of that. On now we're gonna put a little bit of your any type of sweet seasoning. Don't be shy with it. Put it on. Oh, we do a lot. Yeah. Okay, we're going. We're going heavy on the seasoning. Oh, that's good. Okay. And then we rub, gonna rub it in. in. Yeah. It's gonna go away. You guys, See? your house is gonna smell so good. We do a lot of pork loin just because it is cheap it can feed a big family right. we are a well, family this, we'll, eat on this, we'll eat on this for three days mm -hmm. so we usually buy our pork loin at grocery outlet it's a mm -hmm. discount grocery store if you have one locally definitely check out your grocery outlet i think i paid 11 dollars for this pork loin yeah so that's not too bad and we can get a, quite a bit of meals out of it So you just wanna make sure that it's like super covered. Yeah, I'll just cover it up. See, and pick a pick a. I pick a sweet rub when I'm gonna rub something like this, especially in a crock pot, because it usually doesn't have as much salt in it. Mm. And and you're already gonna have bacon and potatoes mm -hmm. and everything else. It's gonna be salty as it is. So you know something like that. You, you know, depending on how much you like salt. Some people really like salt. I'm not a big. Not I don't so like much. Things a lot you can tell salty. this is a lot more like cinnamon, paprika, mm -hmm. and, and, sh and probably cane sugar, stuff like that. It's real granulated in that way. So, get the sides. I think we're 
good. Okay, we're gonna wash hands and then we're gonna start wrapping the bacon. So we're gonna use a pound of bacon, so basically a whole package of bacon, and we're gonna wrap the whole pork loin. And we don't use anything, we just wrap it and it just pretty much it. sticks it's, it's, to everything. You know, if you're putting it in a pan where, where it's gonna be getting heat and, heated up and the bacon's gonna move, maybe use like toothpicks or something. Mm -hmm. or, or a little twine or something, something like to baker's down. twine or but whatever. In here it doesn't really matter, it's gonna be a big old mess mm -hmm. anyway. So. And then we're gonna do these little potatoes. These are really good, I think I paid like $2.47 for these. You can get any of the little potatoes, You any potatoes really you want, red potatoes. These are just, this is the uh, buttery yellow fresh. It's about 1.5 pounds of potatoes. This is what it looks like. And then I love these because you can put them in their microwave. You can also roast them, you can grill them, you can boil them for 15 minutes. They're pretty small, they're not very big, which is really good. So you can also cut them in half or you can just use them like whole because they're pretty little. We use the little potatoes. So once we put this in the slow cooker, we're just going to set the potatoes on top of it. And I'm not gonna cut them, but you can definitely make them smaller, but they're pretty small. And um, like I said, any type of potatoes. Yeah, if you're gonna cook them faster, you're gonna need to cut them mm -hmm. so that they cook quicker. But we're gonna leave them whole, see what happens. You get some space to lay So what he out. likes to do is he lays the bacon out in kind of like a little pattern, I guess, yeah. right? Well, this bacon, this pork loin is pretty big, so it's not going to fit. So I'm laying it out so that I can wrap it and over. And then just set it on top and then fold it, yeah. which is really good. And you can use turkey bacon if you want to. I mean, <laughs> Anybody love turkey bacon? He does not. I, if I buy it, he'll eat it, but, you know, bacon, he wants bacon. It's, and you could probably call this dish death by pig. There's a lot right. of pork here. Right, there is, but it's so, it's so good. It is good. You also can do like a cranberry. If you like cranberries, you can put like cranberries too on top of it. There's so many different things you can do with you pork can loin. split the pork loin. We've done that before on here, haven't we? I don't think we have. We've, yeah, we split a pork loin in half and you put the stuffing inside with cranberries and yeah, then you, you roll you, it. You kind of do a book cut on it. You oh, cut it so that so it hinges good. and then you, you do that. Yeah. It's delicious. We do a lot of pork loin. And now you just want to go ahead and just wrap just the big layer over. Yep. Super easy, you guys. This is I like this meal because it doesn't take a lot of prep time. Some slow cookers take so much prep time. This is very easy. And you can always have like side dishes if you didn't want to do potatoes. You certainly don't have to. You can do like a side of rice or a salad or what have you. So just makes it really easy, very fast. And I love fast, easy recipes that don't take a lot of time. All right, push a little piece in there. So this probably gonna come apart a little bit at the bottom. And then all you wanna do is just place this on the bottom of your slow cooker. You don't have to put anything in it. Plenty of grease and all that stuff. So the bottom got plenty of stuff, so we're just gonna sprinkle, just sprinkle a little more on top and kind of rub it in. More of the, the seasoning? The seasoning, yeah. Like that? Yeah, I just kinda, a little more. There we go. And we'll just kinda rub it in a little bit. Get it into the bacon. Okay, then you can. And then add in the potatoes. Sure. So this is what it looks like, as you guys can see. And then we're just gonna take the whole thing of your potatoes, and then we're just gonna place them inside as well, on the sides. And then when we add our veggies, we'll do that like maybe 30 minutes to an hour before. You can add any veggies. I like to add green beans because everybody in this house loves green beans. So that is what it looks like, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our slow cooker. Like I said, probably for on medium for six hours. Just depends on the slow cooker that you do have with the lid on. And then I will see you guys 
in about six hours. All right, you guys, checking in. It's about almost done. This is what it looks like. I wish you guys can smell how amazing it is. The potatoes are nice and done. The pork is done. The, uh, <laughs> the bacon is done as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour some of the green beans. What I have right here is just great value green beans. We're gonna let it cook a little bit and then we'll come back probably 30 minutes and then I'll share with you guys what it looks like after. Simple, easy meal. I mean, your vegetable, your starch, your meat, you're done. Super easy. Hey, it is done, you guys. Look at that. We're gonna go ahead and plate everything up and share with you what it looks like, but oh my gosh, this is, I'm so hungry. Okay, you guys, it is done. I'm telling you, this is an easy, simple, really inexpensive meal. Literally, the pork is falling. It's, we can slice it up, but it's, it's tender. You've got your potatoes that are perfect and your green beans. So simple, easy recipe. I'll leave it down in the description box below for you guys, but yeah, my kids no, are the behind the camera. The kids are like, they cannot wait. They have their plates and they're just like, hurry up, we're so hungry. The house smells so good. So mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching this video and I, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.